Hi, I'm Juan Martinez, and this is Hard Work, More Money. Ask for money and get advice. Ask for advice, get money twice. I'm from the dirty, but that cheek go nice. Y'all call it a moment. I call it life. All right, so how was your production in the month of March? March Great. Madness is over. How yeah. do we do? Great. Great. Good. All right. I had Duke last night. All right. Manny, how'd you do? You did? All right. Cindy, how'd you do? Awesome. Okay, good. Say that again? I, now I need more inventory. Good. Your inventory is selling, so now you got to generate more. That machine should never stop. So we hit record numbers for the month of March. That was a, We hit 100 open escrow. So congratulations to all of you on that. So 100 escrows uh, is, I believe, our first uh, as a company. Um, and so 100 escrows open placed us in the top. If we do, we continue opening 100 escrows, uh, it will place us in the top 10 offices in the country within the Century 21 system, OK? So here, here is the good news of, of that and what our production was for the month of, of March. The majority of the business came from uh, the associates that were already here in the company. And now we have another 125 associates that are now part of this family, addition to the family, uh, which with time should get us to 200 escrows open per month, okay? So 200 openings per month should put us in a number one or number two position for the Century 21 brand in the country. Nice. So let's give a big hand to that. I, I told you guys we were gonna bring, you know, uh, number one back here to Vegas for the Century 21 brand. It's just a matter of time. That means if we didn't grow any more associates, we should be able to take it to a number one position. We don't need five, six, seven hundred agents um, to have number one. We just need 200 highly productive agents doing a tremendous amount of business, and that's what we look forward to. And number one is just a matter of time before we get there. Um, <clears throat> opening 200 escrows per month uh, will also put us in the top one or two positions for the city of Las Vegas as a real estate office, uh, number one, number two, in closed transaction. So I, I'll tell you this, that, that all of this excites me. It excites me. It excites me to see your production go to the next level, okay? It excites me to see your business grow and evolve. And it excites me to see that we are building the most professional and the most powerful sales force in the industry. Okay, I already know who are the top five offices in the country, forget brands, in the country. And I have my eyes on that. And we're gonna make it happen. And it's just a matter of time. And I won't quit until we get there, okay? So that to me is exciting. And I hope that it's exciting to you, you know, to, to make, you guys are the ones doing it, you guys are the ones working, building the most professional and the largest sales force in the industry. I think you guys deserve a round of applause for that. Come on, Ace, you gotta smile while we, while we do this, all right? We gotta smile at each other, right? So I hope that you, I hope that you guys are excited uh, with all of this. I hope that you're open to ideas and building and growing your business, okay? So last week I was gonna cover the topic of winners are open-minded. Winners are open to new ideas and new suggestions, and that was a topic that I was going to touch on, which I would like to touch on today. So. Um, so, so the most important thing is that we can win at the, at the game we call real estate, right? That is, that is the end goal. So for a 10 year period, I traveled around the country. When I was listing and selling properties, I traveled around the country, okay, meeting and shadowing the best agents in the industry who I believe were the best, okay? And I always had this attitude that there was agents out there doing more production than me. Okay, so there was a, a long period of time that I was doing about 1.5 to $2 million a year. But the attitude was, there are agents that are doing more. 
They're doing more than I am. Uh, they were operating more efficiently than I was. They were operating more effective. They were earning more money than me. And I knew that I could learn from them. So I never stopped on this never ending search of finding the best out there, okay? I had the, the mindset that I would always be open-minded. Doesn't matter if you're number one, the moment you get to number one and you think that you're on top, it's downhill from there, right? So we're always gonna be setting new goals for the company, always expanding, even if we're the number one office and close transactions, doesn't change, we're gonna to have to look for something bigger. So I was always open to new ideas, I was open to creativity, I was open to doing more business, uh, I was open to thinking big, thinking at another level, I was open to mastermind groups, okay, this was all part of the expansion and thinking big in a big way. I was open to uh, building my skills even more, okay, investing, imagine investing an hour, an hour and a half a day, five days a week for a 10 year period in building my skills but it didn't end. I kept pushing it more, reading more books about how to take my skills to the next level. See, it, it never stopped, okay? In 2011, which was my last year of selling, I was in a mastermind group of agents doing anywhere from one to six million dollars a year. An incredibly powerful group, it was about 10 of us. The topic that we discussed for four months, okay, was how to take 750 listings a year. I've talked about this a few times with my group, okay? One agent taking 750 listings a year. So can you imagine that? You're one agent and you're taking 750 listings. Okay, say that again. That's an office. That's an office. So can you imagine one agent, one listing agent, doing that type of business? So we talked about how would we generate 750 listings a year. Now keep in mind, most of these agents were taking anywhere from two to 400 listings a year, right? So 750 wasn't you know, that big of a jump for them. So where would the listings be taken? Obviously the most efficient, most effective way is taking it at the office, right? How would the flow of the appointments come through the office? See, see these are the things that we're thinking outside the box and imagining, you know, imagining that flow coming through. How much time would we spend on each appointment? See, if you're taking 750 listings, you can't spend two or three hours, you can't spend an hour drive time, an hour back, and two or three hours building a relationship with the seller. So how would the price reduction system operate? Because if you're taking 750 listings, you're taking highly motivated sellers because the goal is to get the listing sold. How would offers be handled? What is the offer process? An offer comes in, what is the system behind that, okay? What would the team look like and operate? Do I need 50 buyer agents, or can I do this with two or three or four buyer agents, right? So, see, is taking 750 listings a year possible for one agent? So that's my question to all of you. Can you take 750 listings a year with one person, one agent, that's you. Is that possible? Yes. Yes. Okay, I, I heard two yeses, okay? So the answer is, let me give you the answer for all of us here. The answer is yes, right? See, most would look at 750 listing, listings taken a year as a complicated situation. And most would look at it as a very complicated process. So myself looking at taking 750 listings a year, I would look at all the benefits. What are all the benefits in taking 750 listings, okay? There's a list of benefits in taking that amount of business, right? 750 listings is probably about 750 closings or maybe 1,000. 1,000 closings is $5 million a year. Would life be a little better earning $5 million a year? Just a little bit, right? And now I have the team to delegate everything. Right? And I got systems in place built out so that I could work four or five days a week. Right? And I could work 35, 40 hours. See, to me it's simple. I would look at the simplicity of doing this. The simplicity is, for me, if I'm selling, if I'm taking 750 listings a year, to me the way I look at it is, I'm on the phones from nine to 12, okay? And then I'm doing three listing appointments a day. Three listing appointments a day. I, go, I take a listing appointment, I do a listing appointment at the office at 1 p.m., I do one at 2 p.m., 
I do one at 3 p.m. And then I'm done by four o'clock, right? I go home. And, and my listing appointments aren't an hour. They're probably 10 or 15 minutes going in and out. And then I have my team right behind me and handle everything else, right? Yep. So life really isn't that difficult, right? So the reality of taking 750 listings a year is only taking three listings a day, right? And if you can minimize that to 15 or 20 minutes on your part and take three a day and take 15 a week, it is, it's pretty simple, right? It's simple, it's just not easy. So the question is, are you open-minded to new ideas? Yeah. I hope so. Are you open to reading more books, new books, or just buying one book and starting with the first book? Yes. Are you open to that? Yeah. Are you open to more training? Yes. Oh, yeah. Are you open to the ideas that come from training, right? Are you, are you open to expanding your business? If you're a veteran and you've been doing 5, 10, 15 deals a year for the last 10 or 15 years, are you open to expanding your business to 30 or 50 transactions a year? Are you open? See, the winners in the business are always expanding, they're always growing, they're always building, and they're always thinking outside the box. And I'll tell you that age never makes a difference. I know plenty of people in their 70s that are more excited about business than I am. And they're making, you know, a million, two million dollars a year. See, you have the same ability to do all of this. You really do. Whether it's taking one listing a week, taking two listings a week, or taking 15 listings a week. You have the ability to take 50 to 100 listings a year. You have the right to earn $300,000, $500,000 a year. You have the right to earn a million dollars a year, right? or only earn 100,000, you can earn as much as you want. So how much of that do you want, okay? You have the right to control your business. You're in full control. There's nobody to blame, okay? Because you, you have a full-blown, full-end, back-end support here, and you got somebody that's gonna help you take your business as big as, it you, as big as you want, right? So there's three desires that you must have to succeed, okay? I always say there's two desires to succeed, now it's three. Desire number one is a desire to learn, to be open, to never say, I know it all, I'm the best, I'm doing 30 or 50 deals. No, I am open to growing, building, and expanding. A desire to learn, that's desire number one. Desire number two is a desire to earn. If you have that strong burning desire to make more money, okay, then do it because you have the right to do it. That's desire number two. And then desire number three is that you have to have a strong desire to work. You can't make a million dollars in the business without working. That's part of it. You build a database big enough that feeds you a million or two million a year, then at that point you could work 30 hours a week, right? But until then, you have to work hard. And if you have those three desires, a desire to learn, a desire to earn, and a desire to work, then there's no reason why you have to cap the amount of money that you earn, okay? So, do you have a desire to learn? Do you have this burning desire to earn a lot of money? And do you have the work ethic, okay, and the desire to take action on that work ethic and make it happen? If you do, then keep the mind open so that you can succeed at the highest level. With that, let's make it a very powerful week. Thank you. Ask for money and get advice. Ask for advice, get money twice. I'm from the dirty, but that Chico nice. Y'all call it a moment, I call it life.